You've been pulled in. What you mean pulled in? Let me explain. You've been pulled in by this. Remember, child of God, you were the one who believed in what Jesus did. You used to believe in the miracle and the signs and wonders. You used to believe that if you walked into a funeral home, you could say Talitha Kuma and somebody would come out of the casket. You used to believe that when you placed your hands on the sick, they would heal. You used to believe that when you placed your hands on someone that was filled with demons, the demons would come out in Jesus' name because you had a relationship with them. Now, you've been pulled into so much mess that your faith has gotten smaller. Not that you've lost your faith completely, but you used to believe as a child would believe. So, I'm telling you today, as I had to speak this to myself, because I used to believe the same thing. Come back to the faith. Believe again. Believe that the sick can be healed. Believe that the dead can be raised. Believe that demons can be cast out in the name of Jesus again. If you following him and obeying him and staying holy, then what's stopping you from believing again? Let me tell you what it is. You've got a bad report from the doctor for a family member or your own self. Now whose report are you believing? You believe in the doctor's report. Believe you only have a, a certain amount of time. You believe that the cancer or the sickness or the disease is greater than Jesus. Now. You've heard things from other people that saying Jesus will only do and do and do instead of what is written in the word. You've been around too much disbelief and now you've been pulled in. Well, I'm telling you right now, in the name of Jesus, come out. No, I'm not casting a demon out. Not right now. But what I'm saying is come out of your disbelief. Come out of that mindset that you've been pulled into by whatever surrounding you that has gotten you into disbelief. That's what I'm saying. We got to come back to what we used to believe and start demonstrating the power of God. Shoot, some of us used to believe like Smith Wigglesworth. Smith Wigglesworth was a man that walked into a funeral and he pulled that man out of the casket and told him in the name of Jesus the third time, he says, I said by God, walk. And that man got out and, and got out of the casket and Smith Wigglesworth walked out with him. This is how we used to believe. Now we've been pulled in by the world and, and pulled in by disbelieving Christians and pulled in by what the doctor is saying and everything else come out of that mindset and believe it.